Hey there, chat. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ruin and I are on the place. Did you miss me? Welcome back to Hollow Knight. And we are here. We have new friend. Uh, we're here with Cyrus Apricot, who is uh, who is <laughs> pretty great. Uh, he's he's uh, somebody that we <laughs> just met through Goose Goose Duck, and he agreed pretty much right away to come and join us for some Hollow Knight. And so I am looking forward to this because because uh, this guy knows all the things. He, he mentioned he might even know all the NPCs by name. And I am Perhaps. Big Dumb Babu. And while I was with Kame, oh, Cyrus, I wish, I wish you had been here while I was recording with Kame. Because, I actually watched a little bit of that vibe. Oh, <laughs> because I was so freaking lost. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't figure out where to go. And I didn't realize I had just gone to the wrong place in Crystal Peaks. And so, uh, and so I just wish you had been there. But, uh, <laughs> anywho, all Cyrus, good, good. why don't you tell my people who you are and what you do real quick? And, uh, actually, since there's nobody here, you can take all the time you want. <laughs> <laughs> I won't take too long, though. Uh, hello, my name is Cyrus Apricot. I am, well, first and foremost, I'm a VTuber and a streamer. I am technically a part of a group, or a VTuber group called the Laku Nation Project. There are three other guys, they're all great. Um, unfortunately, uh, one died, apparently. We don't know where he is. The other is... just came back to, to life. So, <laughs> um, that's what I do. I mostly just stream very long periods of time. I do, like, six to eight to even, like, ten hour streams about... I don't really have a set stream schedule, but about every day during the weekend, and sometimes Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. And I pretty much just play Variety. And among those games I've played over the past couple of months, I did play through Hollow Knight. I did complete 100% complete the game by that. I mean, full 112%. So I have been through the gauntlets of this game. I have suffered. I have clawed my way through every single encounter in this game. And now I get to thoroughly enjoy Ruin, follow my footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> or in a different manner, anyways. Yep. And so we're going to have a lovely time, hopefully. And, uh, and we'll see what happens. So let's get into this rascal here. We are 23 hours in. We are going slower than most people for a couple reasons. One, because there's bigger gaps in my recording. I don't, uh, I don't do big chunks at a time. And so uh, I come in and I say, where the frick am I? Which is, I think I'm in hollow. I, I, yeah, I'm in deep nest right now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, okay, I know where you are. Yeah. yeah. And so I, I, t I, I spend the first few minutes trying to figure out where I am and also... I spend a lot of time talking and and just get distracted and go slow because of it. And so I think what I planned to do when I left last time was to slide down here, basically hit the hot springs and then charge to the left and see how far I can go. Because I see that there is a, 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 a what is that called? Like basically an open door there that I haven't walked through. Mm -hmm. um, and man, my brain has completely forgotten the word I wanted to say. Uh, but anywho. Yeah, I'm gonna go that way and drop on down. Welcome back to Deep Nest, my child. Yes. Where it's very dark and it's very scary. <laughs> yep. Deep Nest is very cool and also it sucks. It really does, yeah. Uh, a freaking okay, that trap! Happens. <laughs> that, that happens a lot in Deep Nest. Just yeah, don't worry. I forgot other about places too. I didn't know that was there. I hadn't touched it yet. Um, I'm like 20 hours, and I'm still part of the first map. Uh, that happened. Yeah, this map... Hollow Knight is a big game, but mm -hmm. once you... What I really like about this game is a lot of the areas are super distinct. Mm -hmm. So if you just kind of wander around for a bit, you'll very slowly start to kind of yeah. realize where you are. A lot of what I've done is I've gone and tried to sequence break a little bit, or accidentally tried to sequence break by not knowing where I was going and not figuring out where I needed to get the next thing. And so, like, I did all this stuff before I found Deep Nest at all, before I did most anything in Crystal Peaks, or the resting ground, I was already down in the ancient basin. Just lost as Hogan's Goat. That's the other thing, is I am perpetually lost. If it makes you feel better, I also got pretty badly lost in my first playthrough of this game. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, and I got things ah. in a very bad, or really weird order. I got, um, I got, like, double jump. I don't know if you have double jump yet in this game. I do not. I, I got... I got that upgrade, like, before I got dash. Wow. How did you do that? Because sure. dash is the very first fight you have. 
or crystal dash. My bad, not dash. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's different. I should, I should probably. I should probably elaborate there. Yeah. Oh, what a thrill it is to find such warm comforts amidst the den of beast. It's a ferocious place, no doubt. Supposedly, there's a village deep in the war, and its inhabitants never accepted Hollandus King. We all love Quarrel. That's mm -hmm. Quarrel, by the way. Yep. He's a. Uh, He's uh, just basically like a knight that runs around that we have found several times. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a path here I didn't take. Well, hi. And I now... Oh, 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 oh. I think that's a tram sign, and I now have a train pass. Thank you. Thank you so much, Comet. Uh, well, enjoy your meal at the very least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, I saw Kame was streaming. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I meant to dash over there, but I was talking. <laughs> so you have... Seven masks. Oh, you already have two full vessels, too. Dang. Yep. I, uh, I am a very big on exploring every inch of where I am. But, uh, but that also means that I don't make much progress because I'm scraping walls and nooks and crannies. Or at least I think I am. My commenters have also helped me, uh, <laughs> realize that I have not discovered nearly as much as I thought I did. <laughs> it does take, uh, quite a bit. You do have to backtrack through areas that fully understand oh yeah fully it's find a, everything it is need. a very very firm metroidvania of just explore 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 and do more and mm, i would say though there. um yep. there is a lot there's a lot in this game but you don't need all of it in order to technically beat it like I, you can technically beat the game with what you currently have right now oh yeah yep. yeah yeah because i need to i i assume so here's my assumptions I assume I go deep into Deep Nest here, I need to fight these three masks, basically. And they're going to give me access to the Black Egg, and then I go break the Black Egg, and that's the final boss. That's that's my assumption. Yeah, pretty much. Wait, okay. I'm actually surprised you haven't gotten any of those yet. You haven't even gotten Watcher Knights yet. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, part of that was because, like, I, I've also completed, uh, uh, I've, I also wound up completing, um, Dagnabbit, what's the Zelda game? Breath of the Wild. And, oh, right. I think I understand what I'm supposed to do. There you go. You got yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. Oof. Wait. That sound is a battle sound. You did get it right. Um. So, yeah. if you don't mind me saying that you got it right. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. That's fine. I figured that's what I was supposed to do, but I'm also just failing at this jumping over it part. I, think I will I... say, though, uh -huh. there are... Technically, five different endings to this game, although two of oh. them are kind of the same thing. You don't really have to worry about them. Wait, five? One, one, two. Yeah, five endings. Two of them are kind of the same thing, so you don't really have to worry about those two. Okay. If you explore too much, you'll accidentally lock yourself out of one of the endings. Really? Yes. Like, because there is, like, a progression system in this game, and one of the endings is, like, the basically as basic as you can get it, right. as you can end. And so, there's a certain thing that you need to unlock uh, in order to get to the other endings. Right. But if, and if you unlock that thing, you can no longer have that The basic ending, ending. Okay. Yes. So, I should go and kill these guys and get that first ending first. Oh, dag nab it. <laughs> As, I mean, I'm mentioning it now just to, to tell you that, hey, um, if you do want to experience all the endings, then... Then you're totally, going to need to like, go. Yeah, then you're probably going to have to do it as soon as you can. I will say, though, um, personally, it did take me a while to figure out how to unlock the other endings without, like, looking anything up. Uh, it took me quite a bit of exploration, but, I mean, if you have been exploring as much as you have, or as you say you have been, mm -hmm. then you should be able to find it relatively quickly. Yeah, as much as I think I have been, at least. <laughs> that's always I mean, that's, that's so, not everyone such a thinks, kicker. Really. <laughs> yeah. Where it's like, I, I've definitely seen everything, and it's like, no, you haven't. It, mm. Hold on, I'm going to have to go collect some soul, because I'm sucking at life over here. <laughs> I need to go kill some things. <laughs> um, there are not a lot of things to kill in this area. You're mostly yeah. going to have to deal with those guys. Yeah, mostly just all these, huh? Yep. You're going to have to travel a little bit further out if you want to find things to kill. Yep. But I don't want to get myself in such a bad position that I can't, uh, that I can't rescue myself. Hup. Also, sorry about the, uh, slight lag in the, uh, stream. Unfortunately, Discord streaming, uh, not the best of qualities, unfortunately. 
Yeah, it does that sometimes. I'm certain you, you're, you've turned into a, a slideshow over there watching PowerPoint. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's just the quality is like 480p, maybe oh. even lower. Ooh, that's rough. It, 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 it has its moments where it goes back to like 720, but okay. The good so thing is I zoomed tram. it in far enough that it doesn't look too bad. I will say though that uh, I did zoom it in a little bit or crop some of the some of the uh, stream itself that I'm looking at, so we do see a little bit more than you guys can, but it's not by too much. Okay. Oh, failed. And welcome to the tram. Yeah. All right, so. There's a bench there. You can take a seat. Yay! And I've upgraded. I've fixed my map, so yep. I've got and, all that. And uh, you can also go to, all the way to the right and uh, see or activate the tram and see where it takes you. Okay. Now this one says it takes me to the ancient basin. So, because when I was looking at my map, the tram pointed towards that, and mm -hmm. also that lines up because there's the basin down here. And bop bop. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if I remember correctly, this one goes two ways. Um, oh, and the palace grounds. I don't think I ever got down there. For some reason or another, I cannot remember why. But I just don't think I did. Let's see. All good. Yep. Drop. I mean, I wouldn't know where you have and haven't been either. Or well, other than, like, the map. But it does yeah. look like you have not been there yet. Yeah, I, I remember not getting into the palace grounds, and I cannot remember why I couldn't. Um, ouch. Hold on. You have slighted me, and you shall die for that. Alright. Thank you. How much of this of the game's story do you know about? Uh, basically what I found here. I discovered the three dreamers, and, uh, oh, what is the deal with the Geo and the Fountain? I never did this. I mean to tell you, or? No, no, no. I, okay. I think it just gives me a vessel fragment that he's holding, or something. Um... I hear. A true yeah, we do hear off. cornifer. Yeah, I do hear hear, hear cornifer. All right, let's 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 give it a shot. Mm, okay. All right, we're not gonna fret about it because money is easy to come by. It is. And I have not. I don't have anything right now that I need. Oh wait. That's cornifer. Yeah. All right, so there he is, and I have already bought this thing from him because I have the map here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why I couldn't get over there. I don't have double jump. You do not. I do not. All right. I remember now why I couldn't get there. All right, back to the tram with us. Die. Oh, die. That was a silly thing to do, but um, I don't... Mm -hmm. I'm in an ancient basin right now. Although, I could, I could go to where that chair is because I believe, I, I was about believe, to say, I will tell you, you I are believe. actually in a location that is very, very close to double jump. Oh, good. I, yeah. I figured, I figured that it would have to be close because there was places all around here that needed double jump. And yes, okay. Wait, how? Hold uh, on. Crystal dash. <laughs> yeah. There how did, uh... How did you get double jump without crystal dash? If you need crystal dash for this, wait a minute, there's money there. You, you spike jump, or you uh hit, you jump, hop through using uh the sword. What you call it? Yeah. You sword like hopped that. all the way across. You mad lad. You. The game the, the didn't look the game. It looked like the game didn't want me to go this way, so I was like, okay, I go this way. Well, now I need to try it. So you just did this number the whole way across. How did you get up there? Um, I think I got stuck for a bit, and then I died, and then I used my I, I used my shade to to wall jump up. <gasps> oh, so you had the shade <laughs> I think, down I think here. That's what I did. You 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 spike jumped off of the spikes, and then spike and then sword jumped off of your shade to yes. land up here, killed your yes. shade, and went on. Yes. That is ridiculous. That is insane. I, actually didn't, I didn't plan on doing it at first, but I'm like, huh, I wonder if that could happen. And the answer is yes. Yes, it can. That is ins <laughs> that is wild. Uh, oh, hi. I didn't even see. Ow. Yep, didn't even they are see very them. they are very dark against the very dark background. Yes. Yeah, and he was just so quiet. 
Oh, Oop. I've now hey. killed enough to get their Pokedex yeah, update. Fill up your... Yes, Pokedex. Yep. Let's say Hunter's Journal, but you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be the same thing. Uh-oh. I let them get away. I should have shot them. How silly <laughs> of me. If I if I had blasted them, I could have uh, put them in the Pokedex yes. as well, because I'm don't, certain... Uh, don't leave any alive. I'm certain that they are very much like those little flighty things in Green Path, where... Fire, fire, fireball them all. Mm-hmm. I'm curious, what charm set are you running? I have uh, okay, Gathering Swarm because I'm lazy. The Compass because I'm not, I'm lazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Long Nail just cuz. Mm -hmm. uh, Sprint Master because I wanted to go fast. Again, mm -hmm. lazy. <laughs> uh, Grub Song because I was in a place where I couldn't get much soul. And so I was just using that as a means of living a little longer. Mm -hmm. And then Steady Body because I had an extra slot. But Steady Body is also really good. I am a huge stan of Fragile Greed, and I break it all the time. <laughs> but I'm I, I see. I see that. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I don't really touch Stalwart Shell. Um, uh, I, maybe it's amazing. Maybe it's not. I have heard that Fluke Nest and Defender's Crest are actually a combo. That yes. they power each other up. Yes. Um, and I know none of the other power-ups. I would assume that these would too, just because they're both defensive. Um, um, if they don't like directly affect each other, but they do kind of synergize. Okay. I will. I will say, uh, Dash Master is generally like considered better than Sprint Master when it yeah. comes to like mobility. Yeah. Yeah. Because you just constantly dash. Like, if you ever like mess around with how fast you dash normally, uh, compared to with Dash Master, it's actually insanely fast. Oh, I'm certain. I'm certain. Yeah. I'm just, again, I don't want to be pushing the button a million times, so it's easier to just... You know what? That's fair. <laughs> oh, you're going to be smacking this one for quite some time. Oh, yeah? Yep. All right. Yeah, I the do The reason have... why I say that is because there's It'll come back. one. Oh, it's only number one? I was going to say, yep. I did get myself a channeled nail by uh, by getting a lot of dream... So I got the first upgrade for free, and then ah, uh, I was too slow. Oh, so you're on plus two right now, or second upgrade? Uh, uh, uh yes. A, nice. Okay. I I got the free upgrade, and then I got an upgrade by uh, by doing a whole bunch of uh. Really, you're on the yep. ceiling, you demon. You can, just, you can just you can just run past them. You don't have yeah. to deal with them. <laughs> All right. There's another one. Yep. Thankfully, if you're close enough, it doesn't seem to hit you. It's basically all RNG, so it can technically hit you there, but... It just doesn't typically. Yeah. Okay. Generally speaking. It's like, uh... You've been the Moloch, right? Yes. Big Rudy crap. Is... Yeah. Same, same, same concept. Yep. Every space looks safe and yet not safe at all. Yep. Uh, no, it's platforming okay. in a platforming game. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Whew, one. Mm. I'll tell you down is not the right way. Yeah. Is there a spike down there or something? Or just uh, a, like a dead end with a with an item? I mean, there's only one way to find out, right? Yeah, I should go explore it. You are correct. Carefully. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You must enter the belly. Oh! And you get an item. Simple, Simple key. key. Oh, I'll take it. Poor fellow. He's yep. How he got there, I have some idea, but you have no idea. He looks like a fop from the uh, from the, uh, the city. The capital. Yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chop. Uh, breaking the background, I see. Oh. Yeah, I, I do have a big penchant for breaking these. My immense number of crabs. What's up? No, sorry. Oh, my oh I see, I see. Highlighting. <laughs> have, fu have fun using your crabs, man. There you go. Yeah.
It's Hi. a little more. Let's just go ahead and heal up because I wish for the not dead. Oh, I spook them. There we, we go. Call them balloon tumors, or just balloons. Okay. Or tumors. You can go either or. All right. I should go look those up actually. Now that I've gotten them, I've seed. These are cancer. Just so you know. Just don't touch them. That's mm -hmm. all. Yeah, Just don't that's, touch them. that's what Chad said too. But I'm like, but I, but I must. They are evil and they need to die. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, these I are mean, fun. Mantis lords. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, these as well. Where I was, I, I was like, I was like, they're basically like mage children. Is what I thought they were. The folly and mistake. <laughs> yes. Because uh, because uh, I thought they were just basically these guys without growing their shell yet they were like the grub version of them and so i figured that they were they were the kids and so when we faced the soul master and then immediately found a whole bunch of these in the area that he was guarding i was like oh, we've invaded their nursery we're gonna kill the younglings <laughs> this is so great and i slaughtered every yeah. child i could find yes yeah he, the soul he, sanctum is basically just a huge laboratory so mm -hmm. you basically just slaughtered all their follies and mistakes yep yep and so oh my goodness these are these are the worst this whole this whole area but mainly these just the worst Luke Mons. yes oh i, I, I will hate say them. there is an there is an enemy that you probably you do have to return down there at some point and there is an enemy down there that's i hate even more than those guys uh, yeah I, I the thing is i hate their sound they sound awful they do <laughs> Honestly, all the majority of the uh, waterways, the royal waterways, just, just no, <laughs> just no. Yeah. I wanted to nope out as soon as I got down there, but unfortunately, actually, technically, it's not needed to beat the game, but it's like an optional area. Yeah, it's an optional area, but it's a great big option. Yep. 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 Also, yep. you want to be able to meet Dung Defender, otherwise. Yes. Yes. And I love. I love that man. These He's freaking really things. These freaking things. Shooting me out of the air when I'm trying to platform over spikes. Constantly. Just hate them. But I think uh, uh, the enemy that most people generally hate in this game are the primal aspids. I don't know if you've seen them yet. I don't know that I have yet. At least I don't recognize them by their name. They're like normal aspids, which are <laughs> like in the beginning crossroads. Those like little flying things that like shoot single target or like one single bullet at you hmm. uh they're basically a more annoying version of them hmm. uh because instead of one they shoot at three in like a spread shot oh that sounds miserable <laughs> yes um you probably don't have to worry about it yet but eventually you will see them and then you'll also learn to hate them as well mm -hmm. i discovered uh, i discovered these and they are horrifying creatures like, how could they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How could they? Why would they do that? And I should show you my, uh, these are my dead bosses I've gone through. Um, Zero, Gorb, Elder Who, No Eyes, Galleon. Mm hmm No Eyes uh -oh. is really frustrating. I think No Eyes is one of the easiest bosses, but literally, like, the worst, one of the worst bosses in the entire game. Yeah, it's like, it's not hard, but it's annoying because of its level. Yeah, exactly. And so like, I think most of the ancestral spirit warrior spirits mm -hmm. uh, suck. I hate all of them. I think yeah. the best one or the nicest one is Galleon. Mm -hmm. He's and the, the only one that's Galleon, nice to oops. you. Yeah, yeah. They're all they're all like mean, and they've they've all like you. You're supposed to help them find you know normalcy and reality again. And Galleon, it was funny because he didn't even recognize he was dead, but. Yep. Uh, he was also the one I killed in the first try, which was nice. I think I killed Elder Hugh in the first try as well. And oh, Pancake Gorb. Man? Yep. Yeah, I actually... Actually, you know what? I think the only one that actually killed me was No Eyes. Because I yeah. kept falling on those freaking spikes. <laughs> All and, those uh, Ancestral Warrior Spirits, I think I killed first try except for one. You have not met him yet, though, so I won't say anything yet. Okay. I will say, though, he is the most infuriating out of all of them, in my opinion. 
I would have killed no eyes in a single try if I had steady body at the time. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> because there was too many times that I would jump and swing and hit, and then the, it would shove me a little bit, and I would miss the landing and land on the spikes. And it's like, dag it. Uh, Hornet was a lot of fun. She I also agree. killed me immediately because I walked in with two health and had never met her yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I walked in with two health, no soul. And then I was like, oh, 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 boss room. Ah, dang it. <laughs> and I also recognized her because she's a very, very popular boss. And uh, yes. and so I was like, it's this lady. Oh, de de death. <laughs> she's a really good tutorial boss. Yeah, she so was fun. She's really, really fun. Just, just, she's, she's a good boss. I enjoyed her. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, you're about to meet... Um, kind of spoiler alert. You're about to meet one of my favorite bosses in the game. Really? Yes. Oh, I'm excited. Or kind of. I, I, I guess it depends, but you'll, you'll, I think you'll understand why uh, when okay. I say kind of. Uh-oh. Hey, look, it's a room. I think it's here, isn't it? Oh. So, um, there is, so if you want, you can leave to the right and crystal dash across. So there'll be a bench there so you can heal up. Okay. Um, grab, grab your combat charms. See, there's a breakable wall there. So now that you broke that, you can just crystal dash across, get to the bench, heal up, get your charms. And mm -hmm. uh, you're about to fight one of my... A very controversial boss, too, because people tend to say he's either annoying and hard, and some people say he's really easy. So we're about to find out uh, which camp you belong to. Okay. <laughs> well, we shall see. Mm-hmm. And now I should also have my map updated, which is great. Mm -hmm. Skid up! I, yep. Why did that yep. not stop? Uh, yep, <laughs> that is there. <laughs> Hold on, I thought I thought you press back to stop. Do you actually? No, press you, have to, you have to you to re push the crystal dash button to stop. Oh, well, yeah. uh, all this time I've just like spammed a whole bunch of buttons together to. You don't drop down, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't mean to. So. That's why I was turning back and slammed into the spikes. Because I was like, no, yeah. I'm falling. <laughs> Blessings in disguise. Blessings yep. in disguise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, that was just desperation of don't don't go this way. <laughs> um, but yeah, I. Uh, I had a thing that was coming All to right. my brain and it's gone. All right. <laughs> All right, chat. We're about to see ruin challenge. The broken vessel. Ah, yes. I, I, I've i been thinking something about us being like a vessel in and of ourselves. Oh. Oh, dear. I bet you we have to break him apart and kill a bunch of the scribblings. Ouch. It's a, basically an older version of us. An older version. Because <laughs> I, I figured I that we were I some kind of vessel for some darkness. Like because I remember the the ones who were supposed to seal away the darkness seeing us and just being like, Oh, frick, oh, frick, uh, uh, put him in the dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, head being uh -oh. attack. This is not great. Just a bullet hell, just a bullet hell, you're fine. Ouch. You got a stagger. Oh, I should have taken that to heal. All good, all good. Ouch. Attacks are very telegraphed. Once you learn them, they become a lot easier to dodge. Yeah. I think the best thing about this is when you first meet the balloon tumors, oh. it takes two hits to kill them, but in the boss fight, it only takes one. Yep. And I'm trying to heal and getting myself hit again. Oh. <sighs> Dagnabbit. That's well, attempt I one. Spent all my, I spent all my money. So... That's good. Yeah, so that's oh, all no, good. No, the only thing you got to lose here is your pride. Yep. There we go. And now I know how to stop. I don't <laughs> spam all the buttons. I hit one. Yes, you just hit the crystal dash button again. You can get some soul back by slapping the little, little grub thingies. Yep. And now we can watch attempt two. Yeah. I trust you can beat in three tries. Oh, probably. I think. I think. It's just mainly going to be, am I going to freak out and spam out? <laughs> Hi again. There he is. I'm interested to know what the lore of the vessels are, but I un I, I'm assuming it has something to do with basically becoming the Hollow Knight instead. 
Because I don't think um, we technically are the Hollow Knight yet. The Hollow Knight's supposed to be sealed in the Black Egg. I will refrain from saying anything. Okay. Uh, not because I'm not unwilling to say it, but because there's like a very important cutscene that I don't think you've reached yet. I don't think so either. You should probably see before uh, I say anything. Um. Ouch. Yeah, no, yeah, you definitely have not gotten it yet. I, I had to like double check, like, what do you need to get the, see that cutscene? And I don't think you've seen it yet. So. Whew. I think you should see that first. Um before and like come to your own conclusions because i okay. think uh i think trying to gotcha. figure things out on your own is really fun too provided that of course you are reading through stuff and how interested you are in the lore oh yeah i try to read through most things like i i read the pokedex more than i should but i also i mean you did you did that's already more than i did i barely touched the pokedex yeah that's I, that's man he got me twice there that was terrible There we go. That all good. There we go. All right, let's take a moment to heal these two. Yep. Yep. Oh. Oh. Just oh. just came a bit short from hitting you there. Very nice. Oh. Ouch! Dang it! <laughs> oh. Woo! Oh, there you go. Got him. See, not even yeah. three. Two tries. Yeah. Good all try. Right. So. When I said he's kind of my favorite boss. Uh-huh. Actually, wait, no, it doesn't really matter now. Oh, Go. he was you almost... Should... It, it seemed like he was still a little bit alive because he had, like, white eyes for a second. Okay, but he yeah. He looked up at you. He looks... Breath. He looks very, uh... He, 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 looks, he looks very interesting because he's obviously, like, an us. Whatever we are. But, uh... Yeah, so, just like, typically, um... I guess he's, or... a, he's a very personal boss. Yeah, so the type of quote-unquote being that the uh, main character is. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, people call or people think he's a beetle. Right. But um, typically, like the name that people refer to the character is Knight, and that's mm -hmm. it. If you want to get like technically or technical terms, te uh, they are a vessel, uh, mm -hmm. similar to how the, as the other person you just killed is called the broken vessel. Right. Touch. And now we have you are wings. an angel. Monarch wings, the monarch butterfly, or uh, yep. uh, uh, yeah, yeah, monarch butterfly. Mm -hmm. Press X while in the air to flap the wings. Use the ethereal wings to sail above enemies and discover new paths. Yes. So we now have double jump. And yep. it's oh, it's and that beautiful. Should unlock a lot more for you. Yes. And I should have done a thing a long time ago of of marking points on my map where I was going to need to explore again. But I did not, because I'm fool. There we go. There you go. And of course, they always design these so that you need to use the ability to get out. Um, because, you know, duh. It would be a shame if you walk down there and then just leave thinking there's nothing there. <laughs> well, yeah, there's just leave thinking there's right. Oh! Now that right there. So have you fought any dream bosses yet? I have. I killed then... the soul tyrant. And that nice. was annoying as all get out. I will say the Soul Tyrant is probably one of the more annoying ones. This right here, Lost Kin, is mm -hmm. probably one of my favorite bosses in the game. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. This way. So, oh. And I will also give you a quick warning. Mm -hmm. He is also known to be a complete noob killer. Really? Yes. I, ha I know quite a few people who have played this game and have experienced Lost Kin. And usually it takes more than an hour <laughs> yeah i was hours of trying to figure out uh soul tyrant and especially like constantly getting through phase one and then dying so quick on phase two that i didn't learn anything it's like dang it because <laughs> it's hey, phase one is like 10 minutes if you don't have any good uh, ouch if you don't have any good swords wow i jumped right into that that was stupid oh wow oh wow there's so many of these stupid ghosts <laughs> yep i'm in bad shape i'm in bad shape Ouch. Hey, G. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the hydrate and the posture check. I'm just surviving. Just surviving. Oh, nope. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So he's <sighs> tough. I, You know, one thing I would pay money for is a life bar in these so you know how much progress you're making. Um, there is a mod that adds a life bar. Yeah, I figured there would be. There. Oops. 
So there's spikes down there. There are on the, uh, actually on the top of most roofs in this game. There are spikes. Yeah. Stands to reason. Uh, if you like notice like the elevators in this game, all of them have spikes. Oh, you can just drop out of the world. That's cool. Okay. Yep. And you respawn outside yep. of it. All right, let me in. I wonder. Okay, so tell me this: How much yep. dream does he give you? Um, he's on the higher end. I think around three hundred. Oh, oh, I could have made it right in there. Yeah, Soul Tyrant was also three hundred, and that was great. But my stars, my stars, and uh, it I was. Will, it... I will say one real quick thing. Mm -hmm. Um, in mm -hmm. order to unlock and like unlock the other endings and seal off the first one, mm -hmm. uh. It does require getting an upgrade that is related to Dream Essence. I think it's specifically it's 1700. Okay. So if you ever reach that point and uh, you still want to see the first ending, you should probably stop and actually try and uh, yeah, unlock don't, that. Yeah, don't, uh, go, don't go see her. Ouch. I mean, you can still see the seer because uh, you still need to do a couple things to unlock it. But mm -hmm. I'm saying that's kind of like the baseline that you need to do in order to unlock it. Oh, yep. And uh, at that point, if you're going to keep exploring, then yeah, you should probably back off uh beat the game see the first ending get depressed and then keep going <laughs> okay heal yikes oh he slams faster now yes he's very so strong for those, for those of you guys who watch my p5 runs in my chat um and those of you who haven't mm -hmm. you guys probably watch me breeze past this boss multiple times he is in fact really difficult when you first start trying to beat him uh -huh. it does take quite some time and i'm sure you know because you watch pachi try <laughs> actually no Chi, you you yourself experienced uh fighting this guy too i remember you cried many tears of blood i'm going <laughs> to do a couple of things and among them is I don't need this layout. I don't need this. I don't need this. Uh, long yeah, nail. I, yeah. I don't need Sprint Master that I know. Well, Sprint Master might actually be nice for the fight, but I should be I should be fighting. Steady Body is yeah. probably great for the fight. Uh, Dash Master and Sprint Master generally for fights aren't like useful. Hmm. Generally speaking. Uh, Let's see what you have. Um. I could do Fluke Master and Stink. No. Okay. Stink. What does it do? Does it, does it, I, I think it hurts enemies. It kind of does, yeah. Okay. Um, so the big thing about Defender's Crest, mm -hmm. um, is that it unlocks more dialogue. It's like a lore thing, to be completely honest. That's what oh. most people use it for. So if you have it equipped, it does unlock more dialogue with different characters. And depending, and like some characters, it's like more, quote unquote, more important characters, I guess, or NPCs. Um, you get some really cool dialogue with them. Yeah, like uh, the defender already mentions the thing. He's like, "Oh, I see you smell like a hero." Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, that's like the main thing it does. It does have a couple of interactions with other charms, such as fluke nest. Mm -hmm. But I think, like, basically, what it does is it does like a little bit of damage from like the cloud it releases. Your little mm. stink. Okay. That's uh, about this is it. useless. So it's not a. It's a very niche charm. Um, if you have nothing else to run, then you run it. Okay. I personally never use it though. I pretty much never use spells. All of my power goes to healing. You should use more spells because, especially in the early game, spells are insanely powerful. That's gonna be my main tip to you, actually, uh, in this game, uh, which is something I wish I did more. Mm -hmm. Use spells. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I wish um, I wish I had gotten uh, so so right now my spells are just about as strong as my sword. Um at least my like like uh uh my my normal shot does just about as much damage as my short sword. Uh I do have the upgraded down smash. I I do have the dark dive wait, now. You, wait, you have Wait, you have de Oh my gosh, you have descend dark. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You should be spamming that. Holy. Is it really really powerful? It is insanely strong. Okay. So. Okay, give me one second. I have to like double check on this, but if I recall correctly, so level level two nail does about how much damage does it do? Like 11, 13, 11 to 15, somewhere around there. Okay. Uh, that's how much damage you're doing per nail slash. Mm -hmm. Um, Descend Dark has three different hitboxes on it. 
And I think if you manage to hit all three of them, you're dealing at a, around, like, you can deal up to about 60 damage. Wow. With a single cast, if you hit all three. Now, so what are the hit boxes of the, of the cast? So there's the initial shockwave when you come down, then there's uh -huh. two shockwaves afterwards. So there's there's the end there's the okay, so when you use it and your bot if your body hits the opponent, that's one hitbox. Right. The second hitbox is that first shockwave, and then there's a second hitbox. The first shockwave is the big hitbox. That's the one that deals the most damage. I think that one in itself deals about thirty five, and the other two deal about ten to fifteen on their own. Okay. Now how much difference does fragile strength make fragile strength uh multiplies based off of how much your current nail does so basically the more upgrades you have the more fragile strength does at level two it's great it's fine it's not like mm -hmm. overpowered because it is considered to be one of the strongest charms late game mm -hmm. but at level at nail two solid it's not bad it's not like really good either okay I guess the big thing is, like, if you can spare the three notches, then you should take it. Well, I could get rid of that and just depend more on dodging and not on quick heals so, because I'm not healing fast enough. <laughs> so I will say the build that I did or the thing that I did was I actually ran Fury of the Small. Oh, yeah. Um, And essentially what I did was I did a very aggressive build. Or I would play like safe, but if I was at one mask, I would get in as many hits as possible with Fury. Because mm -hmm. uh, Fury of the Small increases your damage by like 2.5 times. Really? That is pretty strong. It's, it's a very insane amount, but you have to be at one mask to activate it. Yeah. And so what I would do is every single time I'm low enough to activate it, I would immediately start like just swinging uh, mm -hmm. and hope to get a stagger off and then heal up. Mm. That's how I played the fight uh, my first time. But, I mean, of course, different people play it differently. I also use Long Nail as well. Um, yeah, I like Long Nail. And the problem is, is that now that I've played Long Nail, I'm dependent on it. Because if I take it off, I'm going to have a shorter swing again. It's going to suck because my I've gotten Wait. used to it. I have, a, I have a question. You beat Mantis Lord, right? Yeah. Do you know what Mark of Pride is? Mark of Pride. I do not. Oh, you missed Mark of Pride. If you like Long Nail, you would love Mark of Pride. Really? How do you get it? It's literally in the same area as Mantis Village. You probably just ran right past it. Oh, okay. What's Mark of Pride you, do? It same thing as Long Nail. Increases the range of your nail, but uh -huh. so Mark so Long Nail costs two notches. Right. Mark of Pride costs three, and it's probably if you compare the two, Mark of Pride probably like is like three times the size as Long Nail is. Now, what if? Yeah, because they have a giant... Oh, wait, I forgot something. They do They do stack on each other, too, if that's what you're going to ask. Yeah. I also forgot I've got this number. You do. Which is pretty good. It is. But, uh... Only if you remember to use it. I will say I did beat this entire game without ever using nail arts. Really? Because I keep forgetting to use them. <laughs> forgetting you have them. It's like, oops. But they are good. They Ouch. are very good if you can utilize them very well. I'm just not good enough. <laughs> Ouch. Second at life. Yikes. Uh, dang, nabbit. Oh, dang, nabbit. Okay, so very quick fight because I was chattering away and blew my face up. But <laughs> thankfully, it doesn't break your fragiles. It does not. All so, dream fights do not break fragile. Now, Sorry. it does kill all your souls, so there's no healing to be had. But it's fine. That is totally fine. Oh, yep. not this way. Please live. There we go. You got it. You got it. Yeah. You just fall off here, and then oh. there you go. I will say you figured out that shortcut a lot faster than some people I know. Ouch. Uh, and uh, in case you're interested, uh, interested in trying, you can in fact just fall off on the left from that first platform really? and actually enter from the left side instead of the right. I did not know that was possible. Uh, a lot of people don't. I didn't. <laughs> somebody when I, to tell uh, you? did this. Uh, I watched a speedrun. Uh. Yeah, I figured that. Does Ren <sighs> also stream on YouTube or just upload? He mostly uploads videos, but he does stream from time to time. Yep, I I did my first stream uh, a week or two ago for my anniversary. Uh, part of the reason was that I, I have two main reasons. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. 
Yep, there okay. you go. Uh, two main reasons. Not One is because it allows me to be consistent without having to worry about um, being consistent in the moment. I can record and still have a consistent upload time, and no matter what my week does. Um, oh, missed. Gotcha. Um, the second reason is that I don't have to worry about internet at any given moment. Once I get it uploaded, it's there. And I can schedule it to release at whatever time I want. But, uh, then, uh, because at the time I had really garbage internet and I didn't want to pay for bigger internet when, uh, when I didn't have, uh, anybody to watch yet. Yeah. I figured I'll get a name for myself. I'll, I'll get a name for myself first. He is not staggering. And I am not hitting those shots. Yikes! Oh, I went for a dark dive okay. and just didn't have... Oh, yeah, not having a soul really sucks. All right, maybe I should stop going for these great nails. And, uh... And, <laughs> and uh, actually just fight him. I mean, you are fighting him. Yeah. As I said, like, not many, people typically forget to use it, and those who try to use it stop because of a couple of reasons. When you found out one of them, which is soul generation. Yeah. Um, it's also just kind of like tedious to have to try constantly like hold on the button and then like run back in. Oh, oh I'm full of soul already. Yep. Now I just need to stagger him. Oh. You did stagger him there, actually. But oh, the, I, did. I think this, the, the second, second shockwave shot. canceled it. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. I'm messing up. That does, that does happen from time to time, unfortunately. Oh. I just got in a real bad cycle there where I was I was on top of him and I just took three damage. It's like, oh, yeah. no, no, wait. <laughs> If you ever get super overwhelmed by the little balloons and mm -hmm. him himself, just just do a dark or a D dive. Mm -hmm. It'll it'll they, blow up most everything. <laughs> yeah, it'll blow up literally everything on the screen, and you get invincibility frames too. Uh, invincibility frames are delicious. Heck yeah! All right, and steady body is so good. I'm sorry for the Discord notification, guys. Let me just double check. Actually, wait, no, I can't check that because that'll close the thing out. Never mind. Oops. I guess we'll all wonder who, who messaged me. Whoop. Nope. Got me again. So, yeah. One thing about this fight, you actually want to stay more grounded uh, because he tends to, da like, dash in the air a lot. Whoop. And uh, only jump when you can, like, react to his uh, dash on the ground. Well, I staggered him twice, actually, in that. That dark dive does a lot of damage, so... It does. Knowing that the dark dive does a lot of damage, I should focus less on my sword. And I should go get the thing that makes my spell stronger. Oops. Oh, do you have do you have Shaman Stun? I have a couple things, actually. I have stuff that makes my spells cost less, and stuff spell that twister. makes my spells stronger. Okay, so Shaman Stun Spell Twister. Very, very solid uh, early game spell build. Okay, so get out of oh, my life. Oh, you have Shaman Stone. Heck yeah. Yeah. So, Spell Twister. Uh, Shaman Stone's at the top. I think it's like fourth from the left. No, oh, fourth. Yep, fifth. there it is. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I'm full right now. Uh, Steady Body is really good, and I can use that. Um, man. So Steady Body. So just like something, Steady Body is a very weird charm in that. Uh, some people think it's completely useless, and some people think it's the greatest charm in the world. Mm -hmm. I will say with your current build, Steady Body doesn't do too much. And the reason why Steady Body is really good is there's a charm called Quick Slash, which basically lets you slash like twice as fast yeah. compared to the normal slash. Yep. And because you're slashing as fast, Steady Body is really nice to have. Because you don't have it, it doesn't give you as much, uh, doesn't give you as much value here. Mm -hmm. Um, the if you wish to continue to use it, like, go for it. I'm just mm -hmm. telling you my two cents. Yeah, the the reason I have it right now is because, uh, or the reason I, I want to try keeping it right now is because I realized in that last round how quickly I was generating soul. And so if I'm really going to lean in to, uh, <clears throat> if I'm going to lean into spells, then I want to, I want to just get a bunch of weak hits in real quick to get my soul charged back up. Mm. And so that's, fair. that's my plan anyway. 
is uh, I'm not going to focus on just sword wrecking because I could. I, if, uh, especially if I get to get like another two upgrades on the sword or uh, even just one. And then I ax add in fragile uh, strength and, you know, uh, uh, fragile strength and then super long nails and stuff like that. If, if, if I went with that and then did steady body and quick slash, you know, I, I, I understand that that could just basically make spells useless. Yeah, you, you pretty much described the build that I use for the majority of the game. Mm. I am also mostly a nail user, but I do use spells whenever I can. Because mm -hmm. spells are insanely powerful in this game. But you are right. Uh, I will say spell builds are much more viable in the early game. Uh, or I, I, They do a lot more damage in the early game. Yeah. But unfortunately, but not kind of unfortunately, a lot of newer players typically stick with the nail because they want to use their soul for healing. Yep. Healing. Yep. Ouch. There are heal builds in this game, which are very good for new players. Uh, oh, got him three times. I heard that. Whoop. Yep. Uh -oh. When you get all three hits, that is a lot of damage. There we go. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the problem, the problem with all three hits is, uh, is that if you stagger him, he doesn't stagger. It actually depends. Uh, if the if you stagger off the first shockwave, the second shockwave won't actually pull him out. If but it's dependent on if you hit him with your body, and then that staggers him, then yeah, the two shockwaves will pull him out of stagger again. Ouch! I don't know why that's the case. That's just something I noticed uh, when, while fighting this boss. Oh no! Uh, I just realized he has audio on. cues. He does. Dag it. <laughs> Also, hey Haru, um, there's another person here. Yeah. Uh, I'm not playing right now. I am watching him play right now. Yep. We're recording stuff from my channel and said, hey, do you want to do it live? And it's like, sure. Yep. So I am currently watching Ruin, giving him advice and laughing at his mistakes. It's pain. <laughs> Actually, his... laughing with him. Difference. Yikes. Uh... <clears throat> oh, no. <laughs> this is one of those things there that I realized Haru, I should it. probably... I should probably go like do this alone silent mode, but also that defeats the purpose. <laughs> <laughs> it does, yeah. I mean, yeah, you you always lose something if you try and like stream games like this because mm -hmm. uh. Well, that was the thing where I realized it's like, oh no, one of his attacks has an audio cue. That's very bad. I can't just look at him. <laughs> you could just increase the audio. I should actually. Oh. I guess it depends. How good are you at ignoring me? Because I could just commentate and you could just focus. Uh, I should be fine, actually, <laughs> with that. Hold on. Yep. There. Wow! Right. The da the ground smash hit him all the way across the room. That was amazing. Oops. Yeah, I told you. It's very big uh, and it's very powerful. Oh, well, and I hit him with my body, so I lost the... I lost the... the I lost the healing chance there. <laughs> so... The Lostkin is a boss that is one of the few, actually, that staggers as often that he does. Mm -hmm. um, I think Hornet is also one that staggers, and I, there's probably others I can't think off the top of my head. Stagger, so staggered damage is separate from normal damage in this game, um, kind of. Uh, of course, the more damage you deal, the higher chance that they will stagger. But sometimes uh, you can end up uh, in scenarios where they will stagger much less based on what kind of damage you're finishing out. Um, I think one example is uh, using nail arts. I don't think nail arts actually stagger as much compared to just hitting them a bunch. Uh, it is also one of the reasons why I think this boss fight is one of the more fun ones, even though the balloon tumors are very, very frustrating because there's like a very nice tempo, I think, uh, generally when it comes to the Lost Kid where you're constantly fighting him, fighting, fighting, and then every once in a while you can get off a really nice stagger. Uh, then you can continue to do the fight, he'll stagger again. Um, depending, I think generally speaking, you can see him stagger up to like five or six times in a single fight. Oh. It can be, so yes, yeah, stagger is also a really good way of gauging how much health uh, enemies have in this game. So for example, Forgotten Champion, and uh, or as you probably know him as, uh, is it Lost Champion, the big, the big fat bug that you meet at the beginning of the game. Oh, I haven't dealt with him yet. Are you talking about uh, 
Are you talking about the guy who greets you at the at the beginning of a uh, at the beginning of Dirt Mouth? Not Elder Bug. I'm talking about. Wait, have you have you really not met him yet? Wait, I don't think he's so. the uh, uh big armor, uh big mace. Big armor. Oh, oh yeah 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, that boss will always stagger twice, every single time. Yep. The third stagger, he will die. Like, oh, that's oh, it. Dang it, soul bug. If you, stagger him a, if you stagger him a third time, he will die off that stagger. Um, what other bosses? Dung Defender and White Defender. Dung Defender usually staggers twice, but depending on how his uh, move set ends up going, he might just stagger once and die. Dung Defender will always stagger at least twice. Fail Champion? Uh, yeah, you might. Yeah, you're probably right. It's probably failed champion. Why well, I think it was a lost champion. Yeah, you're right. It's failed champion. Oh man. Uh, so <laughs> when we battled Dung Defender, I was with Cass, who was not part of the duck game, but she probably will be next time. And she loved him so much. I love like, so <laughs> Dung Defender's uh, quote unquote real name is Olgrim. Uh huh. So he he does in fact have a name and a backstory and all that, but you know, you, you can figure that out later. Uh, and Olgrim is definitely one of the most, like, animated bosses in the game. Just, like, through, like, voice lines. Jeez, he is great. I love him. I love him. Um, but yeah, Stagger is a pretty decent way of telling how much health a an enemy has. And for other bosses, usually it's based off of stages. Uh, yeah, this one, uh... Or phases. I'm getting myself like wrapped up in things that I shouldn't be doing like like the worst thing I did in that last round is I tried to heal and I kept trying to heal and losing more health because of it and it should I should just not yeah. oh damn you have to one thing I really enjoyed about Lostkin is that he kind of forces you to play aggressive because mm -hmm. uh, if you try and heal too much without a uh, without quick focus he will destroy you or you will the balloons will touch you <laughs> while you're trying to balloons. heal even after you stuck after you staggered him like here this is awkward you're gonna have to dash away or hit that yep yeah it could be worse though watching you bully Loskin for hours in the pantheon didn't prepare me for how long hard, hard he is in the story first pachi and now we're ruined <laughs> yeah as i said once you once you reach like final game like end game build and since i you know i've also dealt with Loskin, i think i got stuck on him for about an hour as well uh, 30 minutes to an hour, give or take. Once you learn, like, boss patterns, like, holy crap, do, are your eyes, like, opened. <laughs> uh, like, I don't know, Chi, if you were around when I fought, um... <laughs> um, NKG. I'm just gonna say the acronym so Ruin doesn't know who I'm talking about. Uh, NKG. If you, you weren't there when I first started fighting him, but I think it took me straight, like, an hour and a half to beat him, and now I can pretty much consistently beat him first try every single time. A lot of this game is literally just like skill and learning boss fights and patterns. And uh, once you've learned them, it's very, very satisfying to be able to go back, be able to go back and just beat them one more time. Oh. Or more, <laughs> as, as you kind of see me do. Gee. Yep. <laughs> oh, dang it. I, I am still so, oh my goodness, I'm still so bad at not letting him jump on my head. I am a freaking Goomba. Yeah. There we go. Say, uh, once you kind of improve at this game, uh, Depending on the, your play style, generally speaking, people will tend to play more passively in Hollow Knight. Uh, and if they try and play too aggressive, they'll almost always get punished because they don't know how to be the aggressor in this game. Um, so people tend to either greed at weird moments or just play back and only heal and never use spells. Um, if a lot of new players know how strong spells are, mm -hmm. uh, I think things could, or maybe things could change a little bit from that perspective, because holy crap, do spells change yeah. the early game significantly. Once you hit like level four or five nail, that's when you can oh. actually <laughs> effectively use like a full nail Dang based it. build and and like keep up with the spell based builds. Uh. Yeah, uh, I hate panicking. Hmm? Uh, I, actually, I will say, Chi, uh, when I first started streaming, Hollow Knight was among the first games I played. And I think my first quote unquote playthrough is actually on YouTube. <laughs> I think it is. I don't think my fight with NKG is on there, but I think my fight with Lost Kin is there. 
There we go. So, I mean, if you want to watch me struggle, uh, Chi, you, you could probably find it somewhere there. Of course, there's a lot of a lot of lot there too, because I did I did still stream very long streams on YouTube, so mm -hmm. it might take you a bit to find it <laughs> oh. if you want to sift through it all. Ouch! What is there? Oh, another thing for me to just have on when working. <laughs> yeah, I, I did stream quite a bit on YouTube uh, back, so a lot a lot of my older vods are still there. Actually, I, I recently learned that apparently I had a karaoke stream on there as well. Um, I forgot that I did it because I meant to delete the bot, but it's still there and I'm too lazy to go back, so it's going to be there for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you're good, you're good. Yeah, no oh man, everything hurts, this rascal. Okay, so I'm, I'm starting to wonder if I'm just doing this too early, um, because mm, I feel like- I did it earlier than you. <laughs> That's true. You did. I'm. I'm certain you and, did. Well, and it's not just that. I know some people. Actually, uh, Chi knows in the chat. Uh, another streamer that he knows, Pachi, tried to beat this thing with level one nail. Really? Well, that yes. must have sucked. Yeah. No, she struggled a ton, and then later her chat was just like, "No, come back, get level two nail at the very least," and then eventually she did beat it. Actually, I think Pachi has the exact same setup you have. Really? She has D dark. She had D dark. She had level two nail. She had similar uh, charms that you have, mm -hmm. and and I think you actually have a vessel on her. She only had one soul vessel. Uh. So, if you want, I know for a fact that you can do this. I, I watched Pachi do it. Although to be fair, I did watch her struggle a lot too. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you want to come back, that's fine too. Or if you want to beat it like in your own time. Well, I don't know that I want to beat it in my own time, but I pro uh, I probably. Oh my goodness! Shut up. Okay, I probably. Oh, that doesn't pause it. Nope. Well, I probably should take some time to go learn him. And then I can do him for the camera. Yeah, I mean, that's fair too. If you I wish. hate everything. Oh, another thing. Oh, so I'm so sorry, Chris. Uh, thank you yeah. so much for subscribe. Oh, Wait. wow. Yeah. Wait, that's on YouTube. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> it says Chris has subscribed. I see the YouTube thing. Wait a second. Is that for, that might be for you, not me. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was about to say. Huh. How did it show you that? I don't know. Wait, is it my, you, is it my YouTube channel? Fudge. You may have subscribed <laughs> to both of you. Wait, I'm, I'm, I have. Well, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel or to Ruins. I actually have no idea how that works. I don't think I've ever had that uh, <laughs> notification before. That confused me a ton. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yeah, you only get no notifications for YouTube subscriptions if they have their subscriptions uh, live. Like most even, people, by default, it's anonymous. Yeah. I didn't even know my... Interesting. I subscribe to both. Would you have a follower alert for YouTube? Uh, okay, so I guess that... Very interesting. Okay, thank you for okay. that subscri subscription. You didn't have to because I don't think I'll really touch my YouTube account anytime soon. Actually, I might upload on it... Not soon soon, but like, I have plans. But we'll see. Ouch. Oh, uh, another thing for me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm glad uh. that that's how that works. I completely forgot I had my YouTube channel. Attached. These orange failures. Why are they so orange and in the background? <laughs> Wait, are the failures the one that floated? I forgot. I Yeah, the, I think so. But the, the deal is that I'm just calling them names because I'm angry. And <laughs> because they're orange and the background is freaking orange. Uh, you, I mean, come on! You, you've been through the infected crossroads, like yes. actually, wait, you haven't. Oh, wait, have you? I, well, I've been no, I've been through the forgotten crossroads. Sorry. Okay. Oh right, you haven't killed a dream. Okay, whoops. Mm -hmm. Too many words came out of my mouth. I'm oh, sorry. I see. I was surprised when I saw my name pop up on screen. <laughs> well, I guess we now know. We all of us now know, Chi, what your real name is. <laughs> oh, I see. I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> yeah, I was really confused too. I actually forgot that my YouTube is linked at all to Streamlabs, so I guess that's why that popped up. Dang. You know what I'm upset the most about Chi though? The fact that my uh, my uh, image or my normal notification image wasn't there because I didn't set it because I didn't know that was a thing. I'm not anonymous like Bachi is. Fair. 
I feel like you have t t two different groups of YouTubers. The ones that are totally okay with DDoSing themselves and the ones that are like, heck no. We are staying as whomever it may concern. <sighs> nice try. That was a greedy heal though. That was a very greedy heal. I knew it was greedy. I was just like, please be short. And he did not go short. He went long. <laughs> that Always was... goes long. Uh, I should probably go... Because what I'm thinking is, is... I think I have enough badges to earn another notch. And if I had another notch, I could change my layout Three, a little bit. Five. I would change the grub song for the... Uh, uh, I, I think I would change... I think I should change grub song and I should get long nail back. Mm-hmm. Grub song is actually like a solid charm. It is. It is nice. It's a w uh, like one charm cost. You got a little bit of soul. Like, it's it's actually it's one. I think it's considered to be one of the better one charm cost not uh, charms in the game. There aren't a lot that people would run. Now that I think about it. Honestly, I think ouch. the other one is steady body. And that, again, that's dependent on how you feel about steady body. Ah! I didn't see him. It was orange. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him coming, and I saw you healing. I'm like, wait for it. <laughs> Dang it. Yep. I hate this thing. That's the balloon. Oh, they're just... As I said, Los Loskin is... He is something. Just... I still cancer. think he's one of my favorite bosses, but... No, he's he's very cool. He's, 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 he's a neat fellow. I do want to go to... Uh, uh, I do want to discover yeah, yeah. this mantis charm that you told me of. You would really like Mark of Pride. If you like Long Nail, you would love Mark of Pride. Oh, I like Long Nail very much. Yes. I shot that so, up. Mark of Pride is very nice. Ah. Dang it. What a. Oh, what a waste. I hate these. I hate them. <laughs> I hate them with every ounce of my soul. Oof. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If there are any viewers that usually watch me um, go through the Pantheon, do my Pantheon 5 runs, mm. which I've only done about twice on stream, uh, this is generally the normal experience when you fight the bosses. Yes. Yes, yeah, it's just so. pain and frustration. They are they are hard, they are frustrating. It does you... take you a while to learn them. Yep. Don't ever watch like a speedrunner or like people who have done P5 runs before and like think, "Oh, look, this game's easy." No, 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 no. no. This game's no. easy. It is it is pain. And the worst thing is is that I did the dumb thing of watching people do this before I uh like not not watching them do this, but I I let myself see it because there'd be like viral you know, nonsense or whatever. And so my only experience of these bosses is, oh, they're cake. And now I just hate myself because I'm a <laughs> trash fire. Ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I killed that before you heal. There you yes. go. Oh, wow. He yeah, appeared. If you, stagger, if you stagger him and uh, you need to get a heal off, even if you feel like a balloon isn't close enough, it probably is close it's enough. Probably just hit close it probably And then you can heal. Yeah. Unfortunately, with that kind of. Uh, with that sort of place, or with that way, uh, you'll only be able to get one heal off per stagger, but it's better than nothing. And sometimes he empty jumps into the air and you get a free heal like that as well. Oh, good hit. You deserve that hit. And I deserve... <laughs> there you go. Got it. Got it. Holy crap, man. When you look at my stream, like all the tumors in the background, they are not circular. They are like pixelated. <laughs> oh, really wow. Funny. Don't worry, the fight, the fight still works fine, though. Oh. So you guys oh, I got caught through. up in him. I was just the trapped in his body. Yeah. Okay, but that was much better. Um, Man, I should. Where is he at? Yeah, it looks fine, no worries. Yeah, it could look better, but you know, Discord, no nitro yeah. details. <laughs> Where on earth am I? 
Uh, you are. I wait, took off the charm. Basin. Yeah, I'm over here. Yep, you're over there. There you go. Okay. Uh, well, uh, technically, you're not in the room all the way to the left. Yeah, you're I'm right here. Dome. Yep, there you are. Okay. Um, because I'm wondering how quickly I could get to a stag station. And then stag station and uh, the is really annoying to get. Actually, wait. And then I could run over and you collect another you notch. you mind me telling you yeah. uh, is right that here? there's a stack station really close to... Nope, not there. Somewhere else. Mm. There is one in the ancient basin. And uh, there's only one area that you really haven't... Yep, there you go. Palace grounds. <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. All yeah. right. Let me run there. Let me get another notch because I am going to lie to myself and say that if I have one more notch and I can change my, my, my layout, that'll make a big difference. No, oh, yeah, that's fine. Like you know, utilize the game to its full or to its full potential. I didn't. I was too stubborn, so I decided to spend an extra hour just. Oh wait, 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 wait. We didn't go up here yet. You did not. Nice catch. You demons. And those are two hit ones too. Are you ready for some platforming in this platforming video game? No, I'm never ready. Uh, there's a very simple platforming uh, thing to the left there. Or I say simple, but it can take a little bit depending on uh, how adept you are platforming. Hold on. Uh... Remember, you do have double jump. And uh, every single time you uh, pogo off spikes, you get your double jump back. Really? Yes. Whoops. Same with dash, actually. So you can pogo, dash, pogo, dash, pogo, dash. Okay, so... Slash, slash, slash. I should get long nail back. Okay, I understand. There you go. Alright. <laughs> you'll get it, you'll get it. Yeah. Look at all that soul you have. Yeah, if I had, if oh, I had brought my course. long nail in here, actually, the nice... Ooh. Yeah, the long nail would have hit that. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I brought long nail in here, <laughs> I could actually pogo a lot higher. Well, I mean, you do have Grub Song, so every single fill, yeah. you get a little bit more soul. A little bit more soul so I can last a little bit longer. Wow. Wow. I I tapped it will, instead of using yeah. it. For, yeah, you do have to hold for that double jump to get the full distance there. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting my it's long okay, nail. happens. I'm putting on my long nail. <laughs> I freaking hate this. I mean, it, it, it is right there, so. Yeah, it's just. Ugh. Just don't run into the spikes again. Or don't just straight crystal dash into those spikes again. Oh, that's not the plan anyway. Oops. It doesn't matter. We can get our health back. All right. Uh, get out of my life. <laughs> you too. <laughs> oh, come to me, baby. I am dependent. Yeah, I can uh, I can advocate for spell builds all I want, but most people like nail mm -hmm. more. Oh, it's not even a matter of liking nail. Save. It's just that it's so. It, it's just like it's all I have intuitive. to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. Most people get through this game using only the nail in the early, and that's fine. It's just after, like, personally, after understanding how powerful spells are, I'm like, dang, I wish I used the spell build earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm not even, I, I'm not even using the long nail because, uh, because of, uh, because of its ability right now. I'm literally using it to, ex I'm literally using it to explore easier. Dang it. These things in the dark and these orange glowies of fail drop dead. There's tumors. What do you mean? Yeah. Oop. You Look can hear the grub. There I you can. go. But uh, you're supposed to go to the left one, not the right one. The one on the right, I assume, is a uh, uh, just a drop down. Yep. All we do you're is to use... get out over here so we can do this. And that creature's in the way. Die in a fire. Thank you. You got this? You got yeah, we'll this? Yeah, we get it. Oh. We'll figure it out. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Nope. You get it. And we'll get it. Ooh. 
would you say you're like adept at uh platforming uh and sometimes i feel like i'm good at platforming and then and then sometimes i'm just ashamed dang it <laughs> just ashamed <laughs> yep yeah and and worse yet is when there is an obvious answer and i didn't understand it and like dang it that's all that's always the worst in general though mm -hmm. like when you miss something and you're like overthinking things too much yep okay come no, on now. like what you're doing right now <laughs> hold on all the more satisfying when you finally get it. Yeah, it, it is. But I will say, like, if the answer, if the solution's a lot more like simple than you th thought it would be, then uh, you're just gonna be feel silly. There's mm. a platform over to the right, so you don't have to constantly pogo. You can just double jump off from that platform. Wait. So if you go right from here. Okay. Um, or if you fall down from like that right area, there's a platform right there. You can just dash a double jump into that second crack and then you'll be fine. So you don't have to constantly do this pogo double okay. jump thing. So... So you see that little platform over there? You just dash, double jump. Or I, I was talking about like, so you don't have to do the spike pogo to get up there in order to do your attempt to get up to the grub. I'm confused, but hold on just a second. Eh. <laughs> it's fine. I'm probably not explaining this nearly as well as I could be. Okay, so you're talking about I could just jump up over here. Yeah, I'm saying then... you could like you go use here, get up to that little hole you see like right next to you, oh. and instead of having to do the spike jumps over and over again. I understand now. So okay. It's probably a little bit easier that way. Oh, see, there you okay, go. that's a lot that's simpler. That. Yeah. Okay, I know what I should have done there. I understand now. All right, come on, Ruin Boy. Got it. There we go. Dash, jump. Up here. Slide I've seen down. Dash, jump. Multiple nope. solutions to uh to this specific little platforming quote unquote puzzle. Um What you're doing is one of them. Up uh, nope. Oh, dang it. Come on now. There you go. Okay. There we go. How there you go. Uh, that was so much All simpler. I forgot grub. about the air dash. All I had to do was just this, and I did not. The one that I, the way I solved it was I crystal dashed off that right wall instead. Uh huh. So not not there, but like if you go up to or on the right side of that wall of the one that you air dashed off yeah. of, I just crystal dashed and then double jumped off. You crystal dash like and right then jump. Yeah, up. crystal dash okay. right here. Yeah, I see. That's, I see. How, that's how I did it. So you did this number. Yeah, and then okay. immediately cancel it and then dash, and like double jump, jab, dash. That's how I did it. Ah uh, ha 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 ha! If the game give gave me crystal dash, by gosh darn, I'm gonna use it. Mhm. Mm yeah. I will say I got the most excited after seeing crystal dash compared to all the other upgrades. Oh yeah, it's really fun to see. Yeah. Every opportunity I saw a wall and I could use it, I was like, heck yeah. Mm -hmm. I will say I ran to, into a lot of enemies doing that, too, mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I have, uh, I have hit my fair share of enemies and just said, wow, I'm stupid. Wee. Yeah. Yep, you can literally just crystal dash all the way through this next room here. Hello. This is another uh, dead warrior, and yep. so this is probably the king you were mentioning before. Um, no, he is not. Yeah, you can break that. Uh, if you want to know the actual name of that, that is called a king's mold. Okay. Not a king, but a mold. I cannot pay for it. Hold on, wait. You are 13 geo off. <laughs> eh. All right, I need to go back and kill some stuff because <laughs> I spent my geo on that fountain you and I crystal dash here. It is a very long roll run otherwise. Um, well, I want to check him out. Corpse in white armor. Hi. Oh, he's defended some way, shape, or form. Okay. I will say I'm not gonna say too much about this, but I will say remember that. Okay. There will probably be a point where 
There will be a point at some point where you may or may not get stuck. It depends. Mm -hmm. Just remember that specific location and uh, or remember that specific King's Mold and the fact mm -hmm. that you can your dream nail did not work and uh, maybe you'll figure something out. I bet you the 1700 is one where uh, you're able to dream slash things that are protected, basically. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. You get to upgrade your dream nail and uh, you can do stuff like that, so. Well, oh, since you kind of figured it dumb out. dumb as yeah. a hammer. You know what I should have done? I should have left the dream gate at that guy's face. That's what I should have done. And then yeah. I could just transport back to him when I want to fight him later. Oh, it's not that far away, to be fair. Um, I guess it depends on, like, yeah, how much convenience you want and how stingy you are over one dream essence. What is this? Oh, this is the place where I spent my money. Yes, you want to spend your 303 money. No, no, I don't. <laughs> there better be some... I, I'm assuming that if you spend enough money there, eventually something happens. Yes. At least That's I'm exactly hoping what so. Happens. You have to spend a certain amount in order for that to for something to happen there. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, I just had to adjust the thing. There we go. Yep, yep. We. All right. The hidden station. Welcome to the hidden station. There's a bench here. There is. Uh, did and I think you are pretty close to getting almost all the stags at this point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which ones are you missing? I'm trying to think. We'll find out in just a moment. Now I'm trying to figure out which, or I guess we'll see which, which, which ones you have first. First is Doc. The pass you hold. Is it not that ghastly machine? The tram? I hope you're not thinking of riding on that grotesque contraption. Of course. Yeah, oopsie. I see. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> the thought of a mere machine could attempt what we stags do. Foolish. Very foolish. Okay. Uh huh. Let's uh, see. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. I know what you're missing. Cool. Look at that. Uh, I've I've yet to blast through the darkness in the land of the jellyfish. Um, but I assume that I need a crystal dash that is uh basically like dark version. Um, ba -ba -ba -do -ba -do. crystal dash is the only upgrade in this game that cannot be upgraded again. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I tried to crystal dash through the, uh... I think I tried to crystal dash through that, and I couldn't oh, get Oh, are you it. talking about the black gates? There's, like, yeah, black gates. It was just, okay, just yeah. a wall no, of black. No, you will not be able to pass through those for a while. Oh, and I can't get corner for then because of it. He's on the other yep. side of one. Yep. Well, dang I'll, it. I will say one thing, though. Mm -hmm. Um, When you are able to pass through those black gates, you will know. Okay. Because the game will literally tell you. <laughs> So you don't have to worry about those as of not right now. All you can really do is look at them and be sad. Yeah. Because that's what I was. That's exactly <laughs> it, is that I just can't get through them and I'm so sad. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, so this is what you mentioned about the infected crossroads. crossroads. Yep. You have released the infection. Oh, dear. And I will say the infected crossroads is a much bigger pain to traverse versus the normal crossroads because some entrances are now closed off, like the one right below you. Yep. So So I have destroyed the world by going into deep nest. And those whoa, are a lot stronger now. No, well, no. Yes, but no. Uh, there is like a lot of lore stuff involved with everything that you're doing here. And uh, or not well, most things that you're doing. And... Okay. As I said, it's probably more exciting for you to try and uh, figure, figure it out first, and then if you... Yeah, there was when, some infected stuff in Green Path, if I remember correctly. When you end up beating the game and you want to, you know, look up the questions or look up any answers for any other questions you have or any other things that you're curious about, you can do that. Or I guess you could ask me. I don't, I'm not an <laughs> expert, but... <laughs> Did, okay, I, did I, I have I have done my research. <laughs> what was the trigger for releasing the affection? Was that defeating that husk and blowing its head off? There are actually so in the game there are multiple uh, multiple ways of infecting the crossroads. Uh, that you just triggered one of them. Okay. As for what the others are, I can tell you, or you'll actually you might figure it out on your own later. Mm -hmm. uh, so I won't say anything yet, and if we end up. If we end up like passing through one of those, like 
today, then I'll point it out. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably go a little long today. Or what I might even do is uh, I might, because we're like an hour and 30 minutes in. Oh, ow. Oh, keep we, oh, shoot, we are. Yeah, we, we've really been going at it. Um, so what I may do is... Stop it. Um, is just end one and go for another because I'm not dead yet. Uh, but we will, we will, we will figure that out in a little bit. And I am, oh yeah, I've got this tram that goes to the resting grounds. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get down to Hoo and go get another notch. Hopefully, hopefully I've got enough to get a notch. <laughs> yeah, I know there was infection in Green Path. There were these infected things that blow up if you, uh, yes, if you fight them. Um, yes. I will say though, the the what you're looking at, the infection, mm -hmm. that is like the main reason for everything that happens in Hollow Knight. Okay. It is a very important plot point. So what's the itinerary for the rest of this collab? I'm guessing it's not going to be an eight hour long stream. Probably no. not. I mean, I'm, I don't know about me personally streaming for, you know, eight total hours. Probably not. At most, maybe like four or five today. But the collab is probably going to last two to three, I would say. Two mat like, actually, I wouldn't be. I honestly expected it to end by now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, see, when I, I saw thought I would too, but now I'm kind of pumped. There. And also, I'm just furious at that stupid husk. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I need one more charm in order to be able to buy that last charm. So fiddlesticks. Um, um, what's a charm that you can get from your current position? Oh wow! Can you so get glowing what... wound? You might be able to get glowing wound from here. Uh, I have not gotten that. I know it's somewhere in Forgotten Crossroads. Um, like I think it's like middle top. You also mentioned um. Uh, oh wait, yeah, Marco Pride. Yo, you can you, 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 you can go you can go grab that too. Yeah, uh, if you see those like normal looking husks uh, yeah. that looks like particularly infected, don't slap them. Just dash away. Yeah, they will chase they after will you in a straight line. Yes. Yeah. I remember when you were weak and helpless and out. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, they basically just buffed crossroads to make it terrible. Yep. That's awful. I think, yep. I mean, I'm okay personally with like the new enemies. I just hate that they closed off like different entrances and exits. Yes. Yes. That sucks. It makes like traversing a lot more awkward because your map does not show it. Yeah. Your map still acts like, oh, look, no, you can go through here. Look. Yep. But nope. It's lies. Yeah. Uh, so to get down there, I should go up and to the left, I believe. But I don't know anymore. I don't know what um, anything means. Oh, they explode. That you know yeah, that, that's what I thought. Yep, that's blocked off, my friend. <sighs> <laughs> that's like the most annoying block in my opinion. Um, but uh, if you're interested, I think you're pretty close to a different charm called Glowing Womb. Okay. Um. Actually, I think I saw a gap in your map that you haven't explored yet. I think that's where it should be. Okay. Careful, that's going to explode. There we go. As most things do now. As most <laughs> things do now. Um, um, oh, yeah, you're you right. see above you that you're little right. gap. I need double jump. That little area up there. Yep, that yep. is a. That should be where uh, Glowing Loom is. I which wish is I had looked at that while I was very, still around there. Very silly charm. Okay. You would probably look at it, you'll probably use it, or you'll probably like equip it just to see what it does, laugh at what it does, and, and then never, never use do it, it again. ever again. Yep. Kind of like a dream shield. Oh, look, a, a regular one. Just in case you wanted to have some... Oh, I forgot he explodes. Just in explode, case you yes. wanted to have some, some memories of long forgotten times. So yeah, this infection <laughs> is what they've been talking about over and over again. Uh, uh, like the, uh, the, the soul guys were all trying to figure out how to, mm, try to, thank you, how to deal with it. Oh, hello. Yes. Um, soul symptoms in particular is actually pretty interesting in regards to this, but 
I've, mm -hmm. Basically, every single area in this game has is being affected by it in some way, shape, or form. Right. In fact, I think the only area, or one of the few areas in this game, and like people that have not been affected too much by the infection, are the mantises. Yep. Oh, uh, because wow. if you haven't noticed, none of those, most of the enemies in this game have orange eyes and, or yep. are infected in some way, shape, or form. The mantises are one of the few enemies in this game who aren't infected. Yep. And I believe the reasoning why is just because they, like, literally survived off of it through sheer willpower or something. Mm -hmm. And these things were infected really badly before. We just didn't realize it. Yeah, the, the whole, like, lore and story of this game is actually, like, really interesting. Especially once you, like, figure it out after you... Oh, <gasps> yeah, I thought... Wow, I thought. he still reached me. Yeah, they, they they do go big boom. And the thump on his explosion is pretty powerful. It is. Uh, Regenerate your soul here. Yep. That's exactly why I came. <laughs> oh, and I need to go all the way around to get that womb. Dang it. Mm-hmm. Right, wait, so you have Great Slash. That's from the Howling Cliffs. I... Thinks, I thought I thought I found it in Green Path, but I did do Howling Cliff on the same episode, so I may have gotten it there. Because yeah, boy, it, oh boy, do I forget stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got I, the Nail Sage, uh, is or that specific Nail Sage is located in Howling Cliffs, not uh, Green Path. Hmm. But there is, or rather, there is no Nail Sage in Green Path, which is why I know that's that. Green okay. Path. Uh. Okay. Great Slash is basically just the Mega Man charge, if I understand correctly. Yeah, pretty much. There is another... Or there's two others. One of which you might actually find pretty useful. Mm -hmm. Which is Dash Slash. Okay. Uh, I don't think you've been to that area yet, or the area where that is. Interestingly enough. Mm. But, uh, Dash slash is something that uh, one of the bosses was that that boss was using against me. Kind of, yeah. Not quite, but Ouch. kind of. I guess it's more like the animations more than anything else. Mm -hmm. That uh, that makes it different. But I mean, yeah, T like functionally, it's a dash slash. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming that there is something I do to clean these waters. At some point. Um, because there's an area that I can't go through unless I go in the water and back out. Yes and no. Okay. Uh, You don't clean the water, but rather you just become able to traverse through them. Oh, I see. Yeah. So yeah, this basically is... just gain a buff to go through them. That's all. <laughs> this is funny. It's kind of like the opposite of like a Zelda game where you're you're fixing areas one at a time and that makes you able to traverse them. And in, in this one, you're, it's everything is getting worse little by little. Um, actually, yes. for right now, I, if we are going to go ahead and do another episode, I should transfer between them. And also... I mean, it's up to you, honestly, if you want to do another one. Yeah, I, I'm cool with I, it if you like. I mean, I usually stream a lot longer than this. I'll probably go longer if we end here, so... Okay. If you want um, to keep going, I'm down to stick around for a little bit longer. Yeah, then let me end screen, and I'll say goodbye to the folks. We'll take a moment. I'll refill drinks and stuff like that, and then we'll uh, we'll do it again. Probably not as long next time. It'll probably be actually 45 to an hour instead of <laughs> instead of doing an hour 30, just forgetting time. <laughs> Anywho, mm -hmm, all right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for you guys out there in La La Land who have been watching, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you have a lovely time. Please leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, because I desperately love to hear from you. Um, and also, of course, there's the Patreon there if you throw money at my face, and then I will be able to do better stuff here, because I will have to spend less time doing stuff other places. Um, so, that's pretty much all we have here. Uh, uh, Cyrus, you're wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for helping <laughs> me with so many of these stupid things, because, man, <laughs> I've had a couple episodes where I was, I was just lost, and I'm certain they weren't great content, but, uh, oh, man. <laughs> so, I'm glad, I'm glad that you came, and, uh, yeah, so for the, if you haven't caught on, we're going to have him in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed him because I, he'll be here. I'm here <laughs> to stay, fellas. Mm hmm. All right. And non fellas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of our uh, uh, glass reflection if I ever watch his anime reviews. It's ladies, gentlemen, and others. <laughs> but, uh, yeah.
Ladies, Anywho. gentlemen, and others. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Anywho, all right. So for you guys out there, I'll see you all in the not too distant future. I know Bye. you're going to miss me, but try not to miss me too much, okay? Bye.